Hey wrestling fans, this is Magnum TA here and you are watching Rubber City Wrestling. This isn't that flippy stuff. It's not that chain wrestling. It's not high spot after continual high spot. It's real hardcore, hard hitting wrestling action just like the good old days. So if you want to see it, see it right here on Rubber City Wrestling. I'm Magnum TA and that's some straight talk with the boss. I'm out. Welcome to another edition of RCW Spotlight. I am your host, your role model, Rick Lieb, the current RCW Global Television Champion. And with me as always, he is the manager of Team Beast. He is a wrestling... That's going to drive me nuts. Fix your collar. Thank you. Legend. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Of 42 years. Okay. <laughs> and of course, he is the star of the show. I'm paid to say that. Mr. Sicilian Beast, Ken Sermonera. How you doing today? I'm in a great mood. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, and boys you know and why? Out there. Look who's here. Of course, that's why I'm in a great mood. My brother in the way, former television champ, or former, sorry, former tag team champion, soon to be, would you say you got five more pounds? Five more pounds? What you call them? You want me to uh, get up to that super heavyweight? Thing? Oh my goodness, man! Somebody I, needs. I, to... Now I know everybody's dream matches. That man. is, you know what? The sad thing is, me it is. Pittsburgh Steeler guy. Yeah. Yes, you we'll know. have to talk about that one okay. during the, during your interview. But yes, five more pounds. Future super heavyweight champion. I'm yeah. telling you, it's gonna happen one day. Oh, that's good. Anyway, and, oh yeah, D. Serrano on the rocks today. Mm -hmm. Here's to you, guy. Animal. Okay. Anyway, so yes, the Lord of Discipline, Animal. Um, man, I'm I'm in a good mood. After you know what, we had what the Rogue last week. Was last last week, week Rogue was here. Okay, yeah. And uh, now 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 Animal, it, we, we have a lot of powerhouses coming it's up. Upgrade, in here. bro. Right. Yes, it was. You know, yes, it is. It is, it is an it upgrade. Is. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, super uh, heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Anyway, so so who's gonna be on the show next? Vinny DeMarzo and then Kenny Hendricks. Well, we're we got all the big built guys yeah, coming on here. It. I haven't looked smaller in two weeks like that. I have. That's it. I feel like I'm with you and you're in your prime. See that? Man, I wish I would have wrestled him in his prime. Wouldn't you have loved to wrestle this guy when oh, he was yeah. monsterizing? Yeah, I was smashing. But anyway. Anyway, we're gonna go oh. ahead. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and You'll never be able to prove that. <laughs> We're going to enjoy our De Serrano's on the Rocks and mm -hmm. uh, enjoy our day. We're going to come back and interview this young man over here. Imagine that. So, see you in two minutes and two seconds. Hey, guys. I'm Mike. And I'm Brent. And we are the hosts of a Swing and a Tribe podcast, and we're part of the Press Play Podcast Network. Yeah, we're really just a couple of fans who love Cleveland Indians baseball. So if you love the tribe, please give us a listen. You can find us anywhere that podcasts are available. Mike, tell us where they can find us on social media. On Facebook, you can find us at a Swing and a Tribe MLB podcast. And on Twitter, at Swing and a Tribe. Go, Go tribe. tribe! Studio Wrestling is back! RCW Rubber City Wrestling is now RCW Global. RCW Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on the RCW Network on YouTube.
Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Our guest today is the Lord of Disciplined Animal. Um, first of all, my brother in the way, but uh, it, Pittsburgh Steelers shirt hey, on, man. man. Can't get no better than that. Right, right. You know, all three oh, of us. Hey. Are, one thing that's yeah. one thing that we can all three agree on. Yeah, that's the common bond, right? Yes, there. right there. We're all Pittsburgh Steelers. Right. 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 Um, and I don't care whose feeling it hurts. I don't hey, either. You know, I, you know what? You know what that, I think about that. That's right. So yeah. now all you have to do is realize that you wrestle or, or you manage in a place that has a lot of Browns fans. And so... How does that work out? Yeah, I know. How, you know, do, you, how I, do they like you? I, how do you? Why do you like them? I don't. Mm. I try to avoid the subject usually. Yeah, anyway, yeah. but yes. So, two weeks ago we had the NFL draft. Najee Harris. Yeah, well, you know, that was a projected draft. You yeah. know? They wanted him from the beginning, didn't they? I, yes. I heard his name is Najee Jerome Harris. Isn't that? Yeah. Isn't that That's what I heard. Harris? Yeah. Jerome? So he, he was born to be a stealer. Yeah, exactly. You know? Well, the funny thing is, and then Franco Harris was there. Yeah. So. And this and this kid lived in a homeless shelter. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is a comeback story. Matter of fact, he had a little pizza party. Uh, yeah. Yes, he did. The draft yes, he did. Yes, he did. Huh? I mean that that that's a stealer to the bone. Yeah, I am excited you know, to have him in. Sounds like a good yeah. guy. Too. We are turning this into a football show, and I don't care. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, still a time. All got the time. got my Penn State boy at tight end. Oh, I was yeah. happy to see that. He's he's a he's just like a Heath Miller. He can block and catch. Oh, that's what we need. And he's got that's short another hands. lineman. Yes. You know? Yeah, and no, that's what they kept on saying. All the oh well, the Steelers beefed up their line, but they kept on forgetting to mention we have a tight end who's a lineman also. Yeah. And we finally got that because the other ones we have they're good, but they're not they're not blockers like this. No, no. We needed a heat. We needed somebody that can block and catch, and now we have yeah, that. Somebody put the mitts on somebody. Exactly. Physical. Eric Ebron will be our little wide receiver, but our wide receiving tight end. But we got we got a guy now that can actually yeah, yeah somebody going, going throw somebody trenches, around. You know. And we got. We got a wild man at, at center. Uh, I mean, I'm green. Yes. What from Illinois? Yeah. Is that he, the guy from Illinois? Yes. Yeah. He, he's a he's a he's a, he, he's he's a, a center kid. slash guard, so he can yeah. play two positions, which is good. You well, know, be interchangeable at times. He posted online. He goes, "I can't wait to be the guy to take over for Marquise Pouncey." Yeah. So he has his mindset on one thing, and that's being a center. Well, that's good. And yeah. You know how we are with centers. Yes, we you know. we only we, we, we kind of have a, a long list of Hall of Famers. It's so. like a lifetime. Ray Mansfield. Ray Mansfield. Mike Webster. Mike Webster. Jermaine Dawson. Dawson. And, and you know, I mean, future. I'll tell you right now, I I do see Marquise Pouncey going to the Hall yeah. of Fame, but you know, I don't like the way it ended for him. Man. Hardings wasn't bad either. Jeff Harding. Jeff Hardings was not bad no. either. No. I think he he kind of left because he knew Marquise Pouncey was going to start over. Yeah, him. what would he? Yeah, Marquise Pouncey did to him what Mike Webster did to Ray, Ray Mansfield. Mansfield. Yeah, right. So, and it it, it happens. But Webster's still the best of them all. Webster is the goat. A webby. Yeah, in my opinion, he's the greatest you know. center of all time. Yeah, and that's saying a lot because the second greatest center of all time is Dermotti Dawson. Hey. Best pull guard center that you'll ever see. Best guy, he, he does for, for when they were doing the routes. He was very athletic. Very athletic. You know? Whereas Mike Webster was just so perfectly sound. Yeah. Like he, he had everything down. I mean, it was crazy. And boy, did he, he have a long career. He was brute force incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> Him and John Cole, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, oh, man. Against those two. Why is it Cole in the Hall of Fame? I don't know. That's a miscarriage of justice. Whose Wheaties did he that. piss in? I don't get it, man. It's like. <laughs> You know, you know what I'm saying, though? I think it is, they have an issue with the still. Look how long it took Johnny Shell to get in there. Exactly. Well, and you think about you it. Know? There's three members of the uh, steel curtain that should still be in there. Yeah. Took Donnie Shell too long. Yeah. Uh, John Kolb should be in there. Yeah. Then you move up to uh, the 80s. I, I get it. Louis Lips was in a bad era. Yeah. But, but, but dang, he man. He should have been you, there. You know. Um, you still have Carnell Lake, who should be in there. Yeah. You have... Uh, I, I, I'll just say this right now. Greg Lloyd should have been in the Hall first of Fame. Of all, he should have been first still, ballot Hall of Famer. It ain't about a still a wing. We need our own building. Yeah, exactly. You know, Because why isn't yeah. Greg Lloyd in there? You know what I'm saying? I mean, Greg, what? Oh, he, he he's mean outside. Oh, gosh, it didn't happen. Oh, O.J. Simpson supposedly killed his um, wife and, or ex-wife and whatever. Yeah, he's in there. He's still, he's in, still there. in there. Imagine that. I mean, it was alleged. Glove didn't fit. I was watching. Uh, but, uh, yeah, what, what, hey. 
This glove does not fit. Too. It didn't okay. fit. I know. I watched. Hey, if it don't fit, you bust the quit. quit. Right. You okay. Know. <laughs> That's a reasonable doubt right there. There it is. You know. But uh, yeah. Johnny Co Johnny Cochran said that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. He did. Yeah. You know that almost everybody in that entire trial is dead. Yeah. Like Judge Ito's dead. Yeah. Johnny Cochran's dead. Yeah. Mark Shapiro's dead. Um, the Kardashian dude's dead. Yeah. Wow. And now the the uh, the guy that um, like the um, attorneys on her are dead. I mean, it's like everybody just mysterious. Kind of makes you wonder, don't it? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, if they were I'm just saying here, OJ is still alive. <laughs> yeah. Of all the ones, oh, he's, the, he's the only one that made it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He finally got out the way. Yeah. Get away. I imagine that. Right. Imagine mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we're talking football here. Well, we need to get back to wrestling, bro. Let's get that back to wrestling. Yeah, no, no. Great idea, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, talking wrestling and stuff, I heard you're supposed to be coming back to Global Sun. Yeah, well, it's about time for me to make my presence clear. You know, I've been away for a while, you know, handling business and on the personal front. Mm -hmm. And besides with this COVID mania that usurped Hulk mania and just took over everything, you know what I mean? Gosh. I hate Could it. do nothing. Now, one of the things we we had mentioned previously before we went to commercial break, you bump it up. You, you're two forty five right now. Yeah, um, you know, I, it's not something that I was trying to get to, but you know, not wrestling and with COVID and everything, and not really being active. The weight just kind of you Popped know on. took up residence. Here. Right. <laughs> I mean, come on. I couldn't really do but, anything about it. But you're only five pounds away from super heavyweight. Yeah, well, you know, that super heavyweight thing is peaks. It's something to it's think about. It's a dream about. match. Yeah, it's always, a lot of people have wanted to see. It's a dream match out there, dare I say. You know, me and my fellow Pittsburgh Steelers, Mr. Hendricks, you know, yes. they, they want to see that match. And, you know, I really don't feel the need to be doing things for other people. It has to be something in there for me. And what is in there for you? That there, there's has. a title. <laughs> exactly. You know. And there it just so happens to be a belt Imagine that he's that. holding. And, mm -hmm. you know, so that, that could happen, you know. We'll just see how things line up. You know, I'm not going to elaborate on it because I, I consider him a friend and a colleague. So I'm not going to get into that too much. But I'm just going to, you know, it's put it putting out there. it out there, yes. Because here's there. the thing. He's a Steeler fan, which we all relate to him with. Yeah. I have nothing but the utmost respect for Kenny Hendricks, but it works out. It's kind of like the whole rogue thing. You know, you saw I had a truth in him. I don't know if you guys watched the show last week, but I, you know, it was a good a one. Truth with him. Well, you were there. Yeah. And, but, but all mutual respect, respect aside, hey, business is business. He's holding something I want. Sure, I'm currently the television champion, but. I really enjoy being the heavyweight champion. Yes. And the television championship's a nice one to hold, too. Don't get me wrong. I love this one. But why can't I just have both? <laughs> well, you know, it's funny, because you never held a television title. <laughs> don't you say that. You know, I, I, it, just, it, just, it just came out there, man. I don't know. But, you know. I'll be like Hogan did with WWF. Andre, brother. <laughs> Bobby yeah, Heenan, you never offered that man a chance at your title belt, and I'll, Andre, don't do this to me. Oh. Listen, yeah, man. He, uh, was, he was in his Hulkamania whining mode. Yeah, it was. Why, John? Why? Yeah, exactly. Know. If I ever lose this belt, by all means, man, bring it back to the way. Okay. I never intend to lose it, but yes. Well, you know, uh, since I've been away, I've had time to evaluate elaborate on some things and just think things through and I realize the only reason why I'm not a champion is because somebody stepped up and took a took the title and just said well I can defend the title and consequently they ended up losing the title which listen. left me titleless. Listen. Yeah. Tell me more. Tell me more. No, no, oh. no. Don't you instigate anything. <laughs> I want to hear what he has to say. He's a guest. No, no. Listen. Look. How many times I apologize to you about that? Uh, a lot. It happened, man. See, I, my bad. I don't remember. But this anyway. is listen. My hey. thing is. My <laughs> thing is this. It's a two-way street on that. Okay, let's let's talk about it. They double teamed me. 
You saw it was a double team move. Yeah. I had a big fatty land on top of me and Justin Bradley. Yeah, that's a, I kinda, that's a sizable individual. Yeah, it took all the way down. Husky to boy. And you were, <laughs> and you were, where were you to break up the pin? I mean, it's like both of us was in this. Well, he, he did a body splash on me in the corner and I was a little. Okay. So yeah, we both felt that heavy weight. Yeah. So, and he ain't no light dude. That dude's a 300 pounder, man. That, yeah. that, all I remember is this. Him landed on me after, what's his name, was doing a neck breaker on me or something. I can't even remember. Well, I didn't see it. Right. And all of a sudden, I just remember all the life going out of me because it's like two dudes uh, jump on top of me. And I'm just like, okay, I can't breathe. I'm just going to, I couldn't move. Well, it but you know, very shortly, this guy here is going to be the most sought after free agent. What are you, Nostradamus? In wrestling. He's not a free agent. There ain't no free agent. Yeah, no absolutely contract. there is. And, and I feel bad. That he's been kept from what he can get. What are you talking about? Oh, because he's he's just used in the in the way of the way, and I know this guy has tremendous yeah, potential really that gonna, has not been realized. Do you really think he's going to fall for your reverse psychology? I'm not reversing nothing. I'm telling it like it is. He thinks you're oh. an idiot. Is what's happening? Well, no. Nah. I do not think he's an idiot. I, yeah, I, absolutely I can tell. not. No. no. The way you're I, I that. feel bad for certain people who have been taken advantage of. Who takes advantage of well, him? Well, you know, it's just you he's know. like a brother to me. I'm not taking yeah, well, it you know, well, well, I've treated my brothers pretty bad from time to time yeah, too. Brothers okay. fight. You have civil wars and you, you know, have things. I mean, I sibling can't. rivalries. It happens. You got it. You know, and I just don't like the fact that. You have a belt, not don't. And I don't like it either. I'm, not, I'm a little upset with you. I think you should be holding one too. Yeah, I think so. I think right. I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, now, I want you to listen. Better be jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to listen to me. Mm. Well, you the short up. time that I've been a manager, what is it? Less than a year, maybe a year and a half. Okay, beast. I well, listen, have I'm trying to play in your head. I now. have gotten in your head the tag team champions and the heavyweight champions. I've done that in a very remarkably short period of time. What he's saying is he's the reason why you lost the belt, the tag belt. So, you have been pretty successful. In, in a your, brief your, amount yeah, of time. That, that's, I, I commend you for that. Okay. You know? And I think you got what it takes oh my to get me another title. Yeah, I well, got what it takes so to get anybody a title. So, let me help you help me. It's called a belt, anyway. So, Vince McMahon calls it a title. Yeah, I know. He kind of ruined the business, but whatever. My title is... I'm the current champion. And honestly... Sure. And that needs to be changed very soon. Listen. It's not going to last there's forever. you got to come to realize it. There's a lot of gold out there for everybody. And you over here trying to manipulate well, you know, I'm right. not manipulating this. I'll man. say this. They, 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 uh, I think... You know, I've referred that he's been treated... Listen, there's, like, a saying, there's a saying we use. It's called, you're either in the way well, you're or you're in the way. way. Well, imagine that. And look at you trying to get in the way. That means everybody's in the way then, right? <laughs> <laughs> I am we as you is. We are all together. Oh, it just depends okay. on how you spell it. Well, you know one thing, Mr. Role Model, if I can call you that. Of course. You know, yes, we're going to always be brothers. Yes. Regardless, I'm the godfather of your youngest child. Exactly. And I take that very seriously. Me too. That, but. I did not know that. That's good. Oh, that's true. Business is business. <laughs> uh -huh. the, the business at hand is, I've been away from this wrestling thing for a while, and I've had a Somewhat of a change of heart, if you will. Stole that from Dusty, but anyway. And I'm thinking, maybe, just maybe, I've been playing second fiddle for all these years, and I'm kind of sick of that. You know, I want to venture off and be on my own for a while and see what I can do with on my own without somebody in my ear suggesting what I do well, and me just it, doing it, what I do. It sounds like wait, wait, so it sounds like he doesn't like the Uncle Tom thing. Listen. And do I blame him? Oh, oh, wow, that's that's a good way. Go. <laughs> listen, listen. FCWF. I remember. You were the heavyweight champion. Yes. You weren't second fiddle. No. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't look at myself as second fiddle. I looked at myself as the guy making sure you kept that belt on you. FCWF uh, champion. Who would I be for that title? That was me in a tournament. Oh. You ended up. I was. It was me versus you, which proves, by the way, that the way is the cream of the crop. So that just means one thing. There could always be a part two to this saga. Well, there's been a. That was the part two. First well, let's was, go for part the three. The first one was right? when, uh, when, I, when I was a henchman, and this is before you were the henchman. Yeah. And that one didn't end too good for you, did it? <laughs> 
you know, this is the last one for me, though. But you know what? I was young and inexperienced, and I really didn't know the ropes at that point. Mm -hmm. But I'm a seasoned veteran now. Yes, you are. You know, so that would change the game completely. Yeah, well, and it did. I mean, when the last time I wrestled you was not no picnic. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, it never is a picnic wrestling. No, 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 no. I, 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 I think I felt that match for you, about a month. You've been afterwards. hit by this guy? Oh, my goodness. I have, too. It didn't feel good. Yeah. Remember that? Okay. So. We'll see. What no, the, what's funny is you remember it. I'll never forget it. Usually it's they unforgettable, do. Unforgettable, huh? Uh, uh, unforgettable. About about that? That's yeah. what you are. Watch out now. Uh, yeah, that's a little weird. Watch out yeah. now. That didn't feel comfortable. But anyway. You'll be all right. Yeah, I know I will. Cover myself up a little bit here. Oh. Cover up. Uh, chastity belt. Oh, jeez. thought it was the television championship. It's the chastity belt. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and take a commercial break. But when we come back, we're going to answer some of your questions. Are you looking for a job? I mean, seriously, do you want a J-O-B? Then get a hold of ASAP Staffing. ASAP Staffing is located in Barberton, Ohio, 165 2nd Street Northwest. Phone number is 330-203-3106. RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the fallen angel, Christopher Daniel. The blue. Mick Foley. And you are watching RCW Wrestling from the Rubber City. Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. Not the flippy stuff. Have a nice day. Yeah. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays at RCW Global. Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at Facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Well, fans, it's that time of the show again. You've got questions. we got answers. Now, if you'd like for us to answer your question on the air, feel free to write us at facebook.com forward slash RCW Spotlight, and we'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions, no matter how dumb they are. All right. We ready for our first one? Sure. Right. I'm trying to tell them not to send in questions by calling them dumb all the time. They keep on sending them in anyway. I know it sounds like Stampede up there, doesn't it? It does. I kind of like this one. Go ahead. It It says, Hey Beast, did you give role model what I sent you from Joni West from Fort Wayne, Indiana? Yes, Joni, I brought it, and we're going to present it to him right now. Our dear friend Joni sent this one for you. What the heck? I'm not no Jacksonville Jaguar fan. Get out of Show here. the folks at home what you want, Ricky. Yeah, upside down for you. There you go. All right, off I Jack. Think, uh, All right. She might have been referring to you as a jack off. I think so, man. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I'm thinking. You see that? You see that? Well, what's up with that? Uh, I'll tell you what's up with that. Okay. Tell us. Tell sure. us. It's another one of the pathetic chicks that know that I would never give her the time of day. And so what does she do? She's like, well, guess what I'm going to do? I'll send him a sticker so he knows. Oh, She'll so watch the show she, as she jag offs. She just has a little animosity because you won't give her none of the right. model. Right. Oh. Exactly. Oh, that's, that's what happened. That's oh, one of okay. Pittsburgh dad's favorite words. That's the truth. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, 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 here, I, I, so we will be. Because we've got the draft show. Yeah, We're going to have to hear what he has to say about the draft. Oh. They're probably already up there, but I haven't had a chance to look. Well, I ain't been lying yet. Yeah, me neither. Oh. Okay, here's another one. Comes from our friend Jeff Humphrey. Your buddy okay. from Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. I don't think I know him, but all right. Hey, Beast, look at the back of Role Model's head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. It says stainless steel made in the USA. That would be from a platter, wouldn't it? No, that would be because my head is made out of solid steel. I'm a Steeler fan to the bone, to the point where even my skeletal remain everything that's my, my my skeleton is made out of metal oh, i thought it was made out of anim, animating you know what yeah like something, like wolverine, that. something like right, that right 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 something like Antimagium that imagine here's here, here. Like that. let's think about it like this okay 
You ever watch the Terminator when the stuff came off of him and he had all that metal? Yeah. That's me. Really? really? That's why I don't. That's why I don't go down. So you telling me you're not human? I'm superhuman. Superhuman. Uh, okay, yes. I'll keep that in mind. Able to stop. Big platters. Pretty sure that you're, you're superhuman as well. Oh yeah, well that's I'm, why we that's why we're in the way together. Hey, there it is, man. Huh? Go on. I thought you'd like. Do you have any questions? I thought that? you would like that platter reference. I yeah, yeah. The, I don't know. I don't get the platter reference. I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, you used to whine about it. Now you don't remember it. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, he doesn't remember anything. Does he? Hey, someone took that platter under the account. The, the one that brought the platter into business. Actually got platterized. He did. That's what by happened. you, by me, because I didn't want to <laughs> DQ anybody, and I'll be damned if I'm going to be a referee in there and get pushed. Who pushed you? Someone push you. You push them back, right? I, there was a bee flying right towards you. I moved you away from the bee and went. You missed it. You didn't see that bee. It was like you. Oh, that was mighty nice. I didn't want you to get stung, and then oh. return. You hit wow. me in the head with a platter. Is that a lame excuse, or what? Of course, if I... A little been, bit of or what? It, right? it, it, it works out. You know, no, 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 let me tell you something. Had he said that to me, I would have said, right. And I used the platter to kill the bee because it landed on your head. But see, you're not as quick-witted as I am. Oh, I wish I was like you. I bet. No, oh, no, no. Okay. Good. Okay. Hey, this is a question about one of our guys. Okay. Rick, this is about Ricky Williams. Okay. All right. The question is, do you guys have any entrance music for Ricky Williams? This is from Lois Johnson, Baldwin, PA. Yeah, me and him both have one every time we talk to Ricky Williams, who hasn't wrestled in a while. He's he's actually taking time off because he got an injury. Really? Um, but we both agree on this one, as ironically weird as it is. So what song would that be? Ricky, Ricky don't, don't lose that, that number. number. <laughs> Oh man, he, he I, have I, I let go over. Uh, he hates it. <laughs> so we keep but, saying it. But we, yeah, so yeah. We, we he's a rookie, so who cares what he likes? Hey, he gotta pay his dues. Exactly. You know. So every time we see him, we have to do that one. We have to do that to him. Okay. Drives him nuts. Ain't like he could beat us up. That's true. Yeah, you know, so it works out that way. Do we have all 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 joke questions today? That's all I got. And there ain't no more. Alrighty then. Well, for the Lord of Discipline Animal, and of course, Sicilian Beast, Ken Sermonera. I am your role model, Rick Lieb, saying join us again next week for another edition of RCW Spotlight. Well, I kind of I had Salute. a moment. That Salute. stuff is so good. Mm -hmm. Bye, bye, bye. Got that. Hey guys, it's your role model, Rick Lieb. I want to thank you for watching the show. If you could do me a favor, go ahead and hit subscribe right down there, and uh, it would help us a lot. I appreciate it.